Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man wala amma ba'd assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah We are chapter number 11 which is Babul Mujahadah Mama Nawi rahimahullahi mentions the next chapter in the book which is the chapter of Mujahadah Mujahadah means to strive to exert, to make an effort, to struggle and this word Mujahadah is Derived from the word juhd, yani similar to what we call jihad, to strive, to make an effort. So a person, insan, yujahidu nafsahu, first and foremost. A person he has to strive against his desires, himself. Bisti'maliha fima yadfa'uha. By engaging in what benefits himself. By doing deeds, actions that's going to benefit him, and his nafs, and his ruh, and his qalb. وَهِيَ تُجَاهِدُهُ بِضِدِّ ذلك. Whilst at the same time, what happens? The desires, the nafs, often works against this. Huh? What, what happens with our nafs? Our nafs is inclining towards haram. Our nafs is inclining towards evil. Uh, we have to oppose the nafs. This is the mujahada that's required. So our nafs at times is inclined towards haram things, bad things. Things Allah made impermissible. We have to strive against that. We have to be stronger. This is what Islam wants. This is what Islam expects. Every person has to be a mujahid. A person who struggles, who strives, who makes an effort. So, Ibn Uthaymi, rahimahullah ta'ala, in his commentary on this chapter, he spoke about and he said that mujahada, we will say, has two types. Mujahada of the nafs of a person doing against his own nafs and the mujahada of others where you strive and you try to work with others and we'll speak about this tomorrow but the most important one is that we do mujahada of ourselves first and foremost because you cannot be mujahada of others if you cannot rectify your own affairs and this is an issue he says that is difficult upon the nafs Anything that opposes the nafs, there's going to be some hardship involved. But this is why it's called mujahada. Because it, it requires an effort, striving, giving up bad habits, giving up sins, cutting out laziness, being a person who works hard for the right things, and of course doing those righteous deeds, acts of ta'at, acts of ta'at, obedience to Allah Azza wa Jal, which at times can be difficult which at times requires mujahada. This is what is required of, the, of a Muslim. From the most important things to do mujahada over is your niyyah, is ikhlas. And the Salaf, some of them would say, مَا جَهَدْتُ نَفْسِي عَلَى شَيْءٍ مُجَاهَدَتَهَا عَلَى الْإِخْلَاسِ There was nothing that we strove harder against that was more difficult for us than our own niyyah. Our own ikhlas. This was the hardest thing to rectify. Is what? Is your intention. Before doing any deed, all the deeds that requires ikhlas. And they said this is why the reward of the mukhlisin, the people of ikhlas, is that whoever says la ilaha illallah, the Prophet said this. Whoever says la ilaha illallah, khalisan min qalbi, sincerely from his heart, haramahu Allah ala nar. Allah will make the fire haram for him. The reward of the mukhlisin is Jannah. But this is not earned huh? easily. Jannah, Jannah requires striving. Jannah requires mujahada. And our nafs, our souls, is full of desires. As people, we love to be respected. We want to be esteemed. We want to be looked up to. We want to be regarded as devout, as righteous, as pious, as good people. Shaitan knows this. And this is how shaitan comes into the heart. And he makes us do deeds to impress others. Makes us do deeds to show off. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man samma'a samma'a Allahu bih. Wa man yura'i yura'i Allahu bih. In hadith Bukhari and Muslim, he said, Whoever seeks to be heard of, Allah will make him heard of. And whoever seeks to be seen in worship, Allah will make him be seen. Which means eventually, Allah will expose his intentions to the people. 
as a punishment wa na'udhu billah. So there are many deeds and this would be different for every, any person. Some of us we find certain deeds easy and some of us may find it difficult. Now, for some people, mashallah tabarakallah, I see they fast every Monday and Thursday. There's an uncle in this masjid, he fasts every Monday and Thursday. Even in summer when the days are long, he's telling me what's the issue. Alhamdulillah, he can't understand me. But for him, this is something easy. easy. For the rest of us, this may be something difficult. This may be something, as they say, thaqilun ala nafs. It's heavy for us. For us to really cut out that food and drink. Maybe even intimacy. It's difficult. Hence, when Ramadan comes, you know, the Shaykh says, like it's like a mountain that's lifted for us because we, we are forced to do things. For others, it could be salah. For others, it could be praying in jama'ah. For others, it could be Qur'an. For others, it could be sadaqat. Difficult upon the nafs. But to be a complete Muslim, you have to do mujahada. You have to strive against your nafs and become an all-rounder, a complete Muslim. And the same when it comes to sins. There are certain sins that may be easy for some of us to give up. And there are certain sins that may be difficult for some of us to give up. To become a good Muslim, all-rounded Muslim, complete Muslim, you have to strive against your nafs. It may be ghibah, it may be smoking, it may be, what, lying. On this, Ibn Uthaymi rahimahullah gives two examples. He says smoking is number one, and he uses the example of shaving the beard as number two. He says because this is something that the nafs desires to beautify himself fit in amongst the people. So what does he do? The nafs inclines towards shaving the beard. But the Prophet ﷺ said, be different to the mushrikeen. Grow your beards and trim your mustache. Instruction from Rasulullah ﷺ. So this is something that requires mujahada. For others it may be easy, alhamdulillah. But that person has a different weakness to you. And this is how insan, this is how we are. For each person, he has to do mujahada. Fight himself with regards to bettering himself as a as a believer. Tomorrow, bi Allah, we will continue on this chapter. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.